Whoa, you look sharp, my friend. What's going on? We are getting famous. How come? Check what Elon Musk is telling about us. Check this out. There's a guy called MG and his videos are awesome. I want to say him kept it up. Even my rockets can't reach the heights of MG YouTube channel's creativity. It's pretty obvious that you have faked this with generative AI and it's not a real one. Is that really obvious? Yes. N no. Yes. I don't know. It's getting scary. But how did you do this? Oh, using an open source GitHub repository, I could clone my voice and any voice, generate the text and then generate the cloned voice after that. Easy. I can show you how I did this. Sure. Then, let's go. Before we start, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will get notified for the next video. Thank you. Alright, welcome to this open source GitHub repository called Open Voice. Well, with Open Voice, you can technically clone any other voices with providing some samples to this AI model. I'm pretty sure you have seen or heard about AI cloning some well-known voices like Elon Musk's or other president voices and you can type down any sentence and you will generate a voice of your text with the voice of your desired character or you can maybe clone your own voice with a couple of samples and examples of your voice the next time when you type on computer it will generate a voice for you with your own voice this is technically what we're gonna discuss and this is one of the actually one of the repositories that does this for us and I saw that this is becoming pretty popular and it's worth to go through that and see how we can give it a try so what are the main benefits of open voice and by the way they have their papers you can check that out for more technical details but technically these are the main three capabilities that you can achieve that are going to highlight that quickly the first one is of course you can clone your the tone of your voice so next time when you text something that gonna generate a voice with the tone you provide in your example. You can also change the style of the voice generated. For example, you can type a text and generate a voice with my voice that I talk in a friendly manner or in a sad mood or whispering. So you can change the style and even the language. So you can type a text in English and generate a voice that sounds like me talking in Chinese, let's say, or other languages so I think they have limited number of languages that is supported but technically you can have multi languages and multi style created out of your cloned voice so there's they have actually a quick video about some samples they're going to show wanders and watches with eager ears so that was the reference the sample that we provide and let's see what's going to be the generated one the aroma of freshly baked bread filled the kitchen so technically we generated a, a voice, but we just adding the text as an input and saying that I wanted to have it in a sad slide, sad style, or let's make it cheerful. The aroma of freshly baked bread filled the kitchen. The aroma of freshly baked bread filled the kitchen. And as we discussed- We were conflating a lot of things with the word intelligence. Rest early. Okay, we just saw a couple of samples, but let's see how we can be hands-on with it. So, there are two ways, actually. And by the way, this is the, the backing architecture that how they use encoder and decoder with the sample that you provide with uh, multiple layers underneath that they compare that with the base speaker and then they generate the voice that we just talked about. Again, if you want to check the more details, there's paper on the top. But if you want to give it a try, they have live demo hosting that in Hugging Face as well, which we're going to try that quickly. And there's a way that you can use code, which is more programmatic. And if you want to, like, let's say, 
uh, have a code based solution i'm going to show you how you can do that so let's just start first with the live demo hugging face so you click on hugging face and again i will add the link of this github repo to discord channel on the reference section inside discord channel and the discord channel link is added here under the video in video description you can click on it and you will see the link of this beside all the references of all the previous videos so here what I'm gonna do first you need to provide your reference audio or the audio that you want to clone its voice here I think they have used Elon Musk voice you know there's this there's the scientific method which I very much believe yeah, it is uh, you can change it with your own I think I have mine let me actually upload it there you go. This is mine, and this is the video, the voice of me in previous video that I had on YouTube. So let me play that. All right, welcome everyone to this video. I'm quite on. Yes, this is about the previous video I added, and I want to make my style a little bit mm, friendly. And I would say, hey, this, okay, this is my voice generated by open voice okay and I just again send so it's gonna take a while to have them generated usually several seconds not more than that hey this is my voice generated by open voice okay not too bad you can maybe rate how close it was but Maybe if I change this style, it might be slightly better or providing another sample, longer sample, but sort of show you the idea of this is my reference. All right. And if hey, this is my voice. Gen synthesize audio with my voice. And again, I didn't provide ton of examples or training data. We just want almost one minute audio. I was able to sort of get something not too bad. OK, so give it a try. Again, this is a live demo on GitHub, uh, sorry, Hugging Face. But if you want to go by code, you have to do some installation. So what you need to do first, you have to clone this repository, which I will again add this link to the uh, Discord channel. And then you have to create a Conda environment, give it a name, and use Python 3.9. And after that, you need to activate this uh, Conda environment and then install using Conda these packages. There is a requirement.txt file coming in with this repo. I'm going to show you that. You need to also install all the packages inside this text file. And you're not done. The last thing that you need to do is download this checkpoint zip file from here. And then you extract it in a checkpoints folder inside the place that you will clone this repo. So let me go all the way up. This is the requirement text file that I told you and the packages that you need to install. And when you're done and you downloaded that checkpoint, I would suggest you start with the demo part one notebook. So at this notebook, what you will see is that it is just loading the checkpoints for the installations and importing the packages needed. And then there you go. This is the place you need to have your sample voice. For example, your voice, if you want to clone yours or any other sample, uh, you put it there. And then this is the place that it will generate the voice for you with the text that you type here with the language and the, the style that you suggest if you want to try a different style let's say whispering friendly whatever you add it here if you want to make it uh, other language then you can change the language from here so these are different examples for different language different style and just the same default thing with just generating a voice out of the sample that you provide okay so this is open source and you just saw the quality of mine that i gave it a try there are might be some other open source packages that they have their own pros and cons but if you want to make an enterprise application you have to be cautious about what you're using the packages you're using you have to be cautious about the terms of agreement there and you need to also care about service level agreement so that's why I, it's really worth to highlight there's a recent service on azure called azure custom neural voice that technically does exactly the same. So with this service on Azure, you provide some training data of your own voice sample as an example, and then it will train a model that will generate a voice like yours with the text you provide. So it's very similar to what we went through that, but of course, that's an enterprise service with all service level agreement, privacy, all those stuff, and be cautious about this service. And as you know, it sounds a bit scary that we can talk on behalf of other people's voices, so that's why 
um, there is a request form you need to fill out and get access to the service and you need to provide to Microsoft what's the application, what's the purpose that you want to use this custom neural voice. So if you're interested to know more about the service, that's the end of this video. I'm going to ask you to come right in the comment section if you are keen on knowing more about this service. I will do my best to create another video just focusing on this Microsoft service and going through that in action, be hands on to check how we can leverage it. All right, I hope you like the video. If you like, please click on the like icon and we'll see you shortly in the next video. Take care. Your values shape your deeds. Your deeds shapes your character. Your character shapes your network and your network shapes your net worth, your legacy. So ask yourself, what are your values and why they are? Dream big, my friends, believe in yourself and take action. Till the next video, take care.